Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and this is the ProGaffs Elites by DMC and Phil Smith. So do hit the like button, please. Uh, do subscribe. It makes a massive difference to people finding this. And the more people who find it, the more numbers I get and the more I can review and put more time I can put into this. Uh, and check out cardmagiccourse.com, which is my online card magic course, uh, which has really in-depth tutorials of all the moves you're ever going to want and adding more to it every month. And the beauty of it is you have a question, you're struggling with something, you send me an email and I make another video to put on the course. So it's kind of growing month by month. Have a look at it. Is it a six? No, all right, put your hand down. Put, put your hand out, sorry. And then put your other hand on top. I'm going to have to use some help of, of a assistant. Okay. I know it sounds really stupid, but this is... It, he sees like an escapologist. Okay. It's Harry Houdini, famous escapologist, right? Yeah. So if I ask... I can't hear him, hang on. Oh, it's, it's gone from the... He, he does this all the time. He gets out of the cage and he tries to upstage me. I oh, know it's, it, it, it's just kind of what we do. Um, hang on, turn over here. Is he, is he's so I've reviewed Phil's decks before and go and have a look at the reviews of the last ones that I did. Uh, I'm not going to go into that, but these are to go with the elites. These are the gaff cards to go with your elites. And the reason they came out with that, obviously, were, I think he said he saw DMC doing McDonald's Aces with a bike deck when they'd already released these. And he was like, what, what are you doing that? Uh, and he was going, because there's no gaffs for those cards. So they created some gaffs for them. And these have got all that you'd expect from a gaff deck. Um, but they do follow, obviously, the back design goes with the, I'll just show you, goes with the elites which and these are kind of becoming my favorite cards to use it's it, it's just they're just lovely uh, just the feel of them but also this marking system which is incredible which again i won't go into but the cards are uh, with the backs are marked in a similar way so that all goes uh, but they've done a few extra things as well so with the face to face or face up mark cards they've put little subtle mark well say little once you see them you can't unsee them but you can't find them if you're looking for them because i can find them um, they put markings on them to show you that they're the marked cards, which is really important in, in routines like the Stand Up Monty, where you can sometimes get confused about what's what. So if you've got a double facer or something like that, you know it's a double facer straight away by looking at it, which is which is really, really handy for certain routines, not for others. They also haven't got loads of these. I remember was it Illusionist put out a gaff date years ago with Wayne Ouch and I think Danny Garcia, I think, which had loads of really odd little tricks in it, which I thought was quite cool, but this isn't for that. This is for those sort of classic tricks that you might do, and it gives you all the gaff you'll need to do those. So there's double faces, double backers, uh, some mispip cards in there, and some some others, but there's some other little uh, little gems in there, a couple of things that they've added, just to give you something that you won't find in another deck. So there's this uh, Escapologist trick, which I will do a separate video with a performance of, which is really, really nice, a, a sort of, very simple trick where you show an escapologist in a cage and he ends up on the in the card that they're holding with the four of hearts. That doesn't really tell you what happens, but you'll see it. Uh, and there are a few more. I'm not going to go through the, the seven routines, I think. I'm not going to go through all of them, but they're all, like Phil and DMC, they're very good at coming up with routines that are really direct. You know, there's none of this kind of over-the-top stuff that takes ages to get where it's going like there's this octomonte which is you show four kings and four aces i think or whatever you want i suppose um and then they basically change places in their hands but the, the great thing is they put their hands on them they've changed places they're left with the clean depth uh, and you're left with the gaff so you can switch them out very very easily when they're responding uh, which is which is or you might you, you're not really gonna have to let's be honest they haven't got to look because they're holding those cards but all tricks like that um there is oh brilliant equivocate thing but it uses certain cards that make it a really convincing equivalent you haven't got to go through as many stages which i really like because i did this equivocate routine mark eldon will tell me it's equivoke i'm sure uh years ago and i learned i can't remember where i learned it but it was one of these long ones where you finally get to the card and i was amazed at how strong it played every time i did it live i did it at a conference and it just flawed people so even if they kind of know it might be the language the fact that you get to that card is incredible so don't overlook that 
Um, and there's this there's this card uh, and coin routine where you show a coin on a card and then it flips to the other card and then you rub them together and there's a real coin that comes out, which again I really liked. And um, at the end, what they do is they give you the four or five tricks that are the classic tricks you can do with these tricks, so wild card, McDonald's aces, and where to find them. So this is a real godsend for those people like me who love the the DMC cards, the, the elites. Uh, they're made with care, as Phil always does. They look beautiful, they feel beautiful, and once you've got these and all the other cards, you've kind of got what you need to get yourself going. Yes, they're not the cheapest deck in the world, but these aren't the cards I'm going to take and do, uh, you know, every gig when I'm walking around and got 30 tables to get around and everybody's hammered. You know, I'll stick a bottle through a table and, and a card on the ceiling for that. But these are the ones what I'll get out for, for those special occasions and when I'm with friends and stuff, um, which is why I've ordered some card clips as well. Oh, and I forgot to mention, obviously, the this um, with the ProGaffs, you can buy this Passports ProGaffs. So these Passports have been with all the decks that they've... Uh, released and this gives you this is where you'll get the routines. Sorry, I was t talking about the routines there, and you're thinking, Where do you get them? So that's what you can buy uh, with this, or you can just get the gaff deck yourself. But like I said, all the links will be below. So there it is. Uh, I'm not going to go into loads of depth because they are what they are, but they're just lovely. Love them to bits. The DMC Elites Pros Gaffs, all the links will be below. Um, thank you very much. Check out Card Magic Course, like, subscribe, and I'll love you forever. Cheers.